Nancy Pelosi uh, is recently being caught saying that, or has is, is come out, according to sources and according to CNN, has uh, come out to say that Nancy Pelosi uh, is telling Biden that he can't win and that he's dropping out. I think that Biden is going to eventually drop out. I think that Biden is going to eventually drop out. Hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and then turn on your notifications. Let's rock, y'all. Three of the Republican National Convention just wrapped up here in Milwaukee in Battleground State, Wisconsin. Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio introduced himself to the party and to the nation as Donald Trump's running mate. He accepted his party's nomination formally this evening. There's also news on the other side of the aisle from the Democrats. Sources sharing with CNN details of a recent phone call between President Biden and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who rem remains a very powerful and influential Democrat in Congress. CNN's MJ Lee is joining us from the White House with more. MJ, what can you tell us about this call? Jake, we are learning that former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and President Biden spoke again recently and that Pelosi told the president that polling shows that the president cannot defeat Donald Trump and that he could destroy Democrats' chances of winning the House if he were to continue seeking a second term. Now, we are also told by our sources that the president responded by being defensive about the polling, uh, telling Pelosi he has seen the data polling that shows that he can, in fact, win. In, and that at one point, uh, Pelosi asked Mike Donilon, the president's senior advisor, to get on the line to go over the data. Now, uh, none of our sources said whether in this phone call, uh, Nancy Pelosi privately told President Biden that she believes uh, he should drop out of the race. But it's important to note, uh, this is the second known conversation now between Nancy Pelosi and President Biden since his debate performance uh, that really shook the party in, at the end of uh, June. Uh, I should also note the White House wouldn't comment on our reporting in this meeting. Uh, they said President Biden is the nominee of the party. He plans to win. And a Pelosi spokesperson said Pelosi has been in California since Friday and has not spoken to Biden uh, since. Obviously, Jake, uh, we cannot overstate just how important Nancy Pelosi is to all of this. She has so much uh, sway within the party. She probably has uh, the best pulse on where all of her colleagues are on the Biden situation than probably anybody else. And the big question going forward is at some point does she get to a point where she maybe publicly says that she believes that the president uh, shouldn't stay in the race? I see that Fy Brown is saying that Biden tested positive for COVID, and that's why he's canceling the speech in Las Vegas. Let me see if I can pull that up for you guys really quickly um, and see if we can deep dive into that a little bit. Uh, this is according to USA Today and... Uh, CNBC. OK, so not only is all of his constituents continuing to call for his exit from this from the race. And I got a video that I'm dropping for you guys either tomorrow or this afternoon, depending on if we finish getting it edited or not. It says Biden tests positive for covid and cancels his speech in Las Vegas. OK, well, let me ask you all a question. Let me ask you all a question. Do you think that this is him actually testing positive for covid or do you think that this is an excuse to get him off the campaign trail um, because he's not necessarily polling well and and every single interview that he's doing following up and subsequently is being panned and they're basically saying that he has no chance of winning whatsoever. So we got sources that saying that Nancy Pelosi uh, is calling for the exit of Biden. And then we also have CNBC and USA Today and every other every other platform saying that Joe Biden has tested positive for COVID on Wednesday, the White House said, so that was yesterday. The president who was delivering speeches in Las Vegas is experiencing mild symptoms. White House Press, uh, Press Secretary Karen Jean-Pierre said in a statement, Biden will be, will be returning to Delaware where he will self-isolate and will continue to carry out all of his duties full time during that time. I thought that older people that got COVID was at, the, at risk the most was at risk the most for, I hate to say it, and I never wish this on anybody, even people that I don't necessarily care about, um, at risk, the, let's just say at risk the most. How about that? It said that he's vaccinated and boosted. Shout out to the boosters. 
Uh, the White House will provide regular updates on the president's status as he continues to carry out full duties of the office while in isolation. Hey, what if this is a play, though? What if the other play, thank you for the super chat, Christopher Mayberry. What if the other play, ah, roll with me here, is that, okay, he's losing all of his faculties. He's, now if this happened, remember that you heard it first here at the, at the um, on the Millionaire Morning Show, he's losing all of his faculties. He's not really here. He doesn't feel good. COVID has really put him in a difficult space. We know that there's allegedly long-term consequences or long-term issues that people have. A lot of people say that it takes a long time for them to get their taste back, get their smell back. You know, some people say that they never recover, especially especially the older people. What if this then becomes the springboard to eventually nominate Kamala Harris? And again, we just we're talking in theory, we're talking about possibilities, but we don't put anything past anything, uh, anybody, because we know that everything is intentional. What if this becomes a springboard? Thank you, Chris Pear, to eventually put them in position to then say, hey, we got the Democratic National Convention coming up. We not sure if Biden is in the best place or the best space to even be able to advertise. Yeah, hey, listen, we think he could win. We know that previous polls may not have been as accurate and that eventually he became president of the United States of America or this person has gotten elected even though they were down in the polls. We support Joe. We support Joe. But we don't think that he's the best candidate because he's been knocked off of the campaign trail often. He suspended all of his ads. And y'all know he suspended all of his ads, but when they said that he suspended all of his ads, they said that he suspended his ads because of what happened to Donald Trump, and he wanted to be sensitive to the situation. Now he's canceling speeches, he's been on all of these different interviews, and is this now the springboard to the Democratic National Convention, which Democrats are in shambles, and all of his constituents are saying, listen, we got to get you out of there. But Joe has already stood 10 toes down, he said, listen. I'm not getting out of this race unless I know for a fact that I can't go on and I can't continue to advocate for what is best for this country as far as me being president of the United States of America. What if this is the play? What if in August, when they have the Democratic National Convention, they say that he's having long-term complications and his ability to be able to stay on the campaign trail and win this for the Democrats is the reason why we're now going to nominate Kamala Harris as the potential president of the United States of America on the Democratic side. They say Biden boarded Air Force One in Las Vegas around 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. The White House pool reported the president was not wearing a mask as he boarded the plane. <laughs> you mean to tell me they weren't out a mask? So Biden, Biden got the vid, but he's not wearing a mask as he boarded the plane. He said, good, I feel good, Biden told reporters in response to shouted questions on the airport tarmac. Biden's doctor said the president came down with a runny nose and a non-productive cough on Wednesday afternoon. He felt okay for the first event of the day, but given that he was not feeling better, point of care testing for C-19 was conducted and the results were positive for the virus. Goes on to say, uh, Biden's symptoms remain mild with a normal temperature and respiratory rate of 97 and at a 97% pulse exometry reading, according to the doctor. We don't even know what that means, but it's okay. We see students over here. The president received the first, do first dose of Paxl Paxlovid. Uh, the physician said he will be self-isolating at his home in Rehoboth. Biden campaign referred to CNBC to the White House when asked for comment. Biden was scheduled to deliver remarks Wednesday afternoon at the Unidos U.S. annual conference in Las Vegas after an interview with Univision at the original Lind Lindo McCoyen McCoy restaurant. So he was out there giving people the vid. He was shaking hands with patrons. Oh, Jesus. He don't even look like he there. He don't, honestly, he don't even look like he's all there. No way that you're going to sit here and tell me that this is a healthy situation. He don't even look like he there. He looks like a... Come on, man. Hey, y'all, somebody get this man a blankie. Somebody get this man a tissue, a blankie, sitting down. And I'm going to be honest with you. Even though I have compassion for him because he's an older gentleman, I have compassion for him because he's an older gentleman, all right? Um, from, a comp from a competition perspective, from... From a competitive lens, 
I think it's great that he's staying in a race. Every single day that he stays in a race for the Democratic side, he gives us more, more and more opportunity to take advantage of the fact that he's out there walking around looking like, looking like death warmed over and he needs to get him a quilt, get him a blanket, get him a blankie, get him some tissue, some hot tea, some cocoa, put some marshmallows in it, get him some fruity pebbles. I love fruity pebbles, especially the ones with the marshmallows. Get him some fruity pebbles and let that man sit down and let Kamala Harris go ahead and try to run this country into the ground. Let Kamala Harris run this country into the ground. We with it. So they saying he got the vid. Thank you, Five Brown, for letting me know that in the chat. All right. MJ Lee, amazing stuff. Uh, Jeff Zeleny also has been reporting on the story. Jeff, tell us more about these conversations between former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and President Biden. Look, Jake, a lot of Democrats have been taking their worries and fears to former House Speaker Nancy You're Pelosi. Take the whole Democratic really Party down with her thinking over the last now nearly three weeks since that debate. Now, when President Biden said he is going to uh, run, he's not reconsidering, she reopened the door for him. And that allowed some other uh, House Democrats to have conversations with her. So she has been trying to handle this uh, behind the scenes, Look if you will. But looked. what we are hearing uh, is that it hasn't worked. So they are being slightly more public with this. But she's not alone. Last Saturday, a key meeting in all of this. History may show this to be a pivotal meeting here, depending on what happened. Senator Chuck Schumer, the Senate Majority Leader, traveled to Rehoboth Beach. That's where the president was spending the weekend. He had a private one-on-one -on -one meeting with the president, expressing concerns of Senate Democrats as well, that mm. they do not think that they can win and are worried about him winning in November. Mm. So, Jake, taking together all of this, this is a different moment here as we... Um, we hit the three-week period. As for the president, he's back in Delaware. The campaign tells me tonight he's in this race. He's not changing. And they say he'll be the ne Democratic nominee. Of course, we'll see about that, Jake. So, um, pray for Biden. I know that y'all don't like to do that no more because you don't like to pray for your enemies. <clears throat> Even a word of God says pray for your and Pray for Biden. Listen, we don't want the dude to just be passing out on the campaign trail because, man, we're going to get Kamala. At, listen, at worst, whoever, Obama that's probably running the White House right now got to be better than Kamala Harris. Anything, anything and anybody is better than Kamala Harris. Anything and anybody is better than Kamala Harris, all right? Um.